Applications of differentiation. In this video, we will continue with increasing and decreasing functions. You will find this on page 276 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. The function f is such that fx equals in bracket 3x plus 2 to the power 3 minus 5 4x bigger and equal to 0. Obtain an expression for the differentiated f dash x and hence explain why f is an increasing function. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to differentiate. Now <clears throat> we are going to use the chain rule, especially for that part. That is a constant, so that will just become 0. Now in this case, I'm just doing the short. So you differentiate the outside and then you multiply it by differentiating the inside. This is the short way of the chain rule. And this will then be your final answer. Now, if the, why is this? This is positive. Do you see a? It's a positive ax squared. So it means the graph will look like this. Now, because there's a square, it means the roots will be equal. <clears throat> so there is the root and it will go up. So this whole function will just be above. Just remember, just remember, you are working not with the original function. So don't go and say, oh, but this is decreasing and this is increasing. No. If you go back, and I'm just going to see, as soon as you are working with the derivative function, and you make a sketch of the derivative function, if it's on top of the x-axis, it's indicating increasing. And if it's at the bottom, it indicates decreasing. So it's not, this is not your original, it's the derivative function, the sketch of the derivative function. Okay, so let's get back. So it's the sketch of the derivative function, so it shows that therefore it's only an increasing function. So now they give you another function, <clears throat> um, with 3 divide 2x plus 5 and x cannot be negative 2.5. It's always good to understand that statement because as soon as it's negative 2.5 this will become negative 5 plus 5 which will end up at 0 and division by 0 is undefined and that's why they are saying that statement. So obtain, obtain an expression, again differentiate, and hence explain why it's a decreasing function. Again, it's the chain rule. So we bring up, and again, we let's use the short method now. Is we differentiate the outside, and then multiply, differentiate the inside. And then we just bring it down. But now, take note, the a is now negative. So it indicates the graph will go like this. And it's just cutting there. So this will then be your graph. Now again, it's just indicating that. So it's just below the x-axis. And this is the reason why, therefore, it's a decreasing function. And remember, this sketch is of the derivative um, function. It's not of the original. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number one as well as number two. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. <clears throat> obtain an f is such that this function, obtain an expression, so difference, and it's a decreasing. So, okay, because decreasing, let's do it in red. So what is the function? The function will first be fx, and again, I'm going to use the chain rule. Uh, in this case, just to help you, I'm going to show you the long and then the short. But I want you to get used to the short method also of the chain rule. Okay, but say for example you were doing the long method. Okay, I'm just going to make it y. Then it's y is equal to 6u negative 1. And what is u? u is 2x plus 3. So dy over du is negative 6 u to the power of negative 2. And then du over dx is equal to 
2. And if I multiply, so it's dy over dx is negative 6u, negative 2, times 2, so it's negative 12, and now it's just u to the power of 2, which is giving me negative 12, and u, what is u? Don't forget, there is u. Uh, that will be 2x plus 3 squared. Okay, <coughs> now just take note that if I was doing the short method, I just want to show you here. Say if I was doing the short method, it's just differentiate the outside, multiply the inside. So if I differentiate the outside, So, in this case, it will also be negative 6, and then keep, keep it like it stands there, 2x plus 3, it's just the outside, because I was multiplying negative 1 by 6, and then I subtract 1, negative 2, and I'm just going to move it a little bit, that you see. And now, I'm just going to multiply, I differentiate the inside, and that will give me negative 12, and I just bring it down, which is going to be 2x plus 3, and it's just going to be 2. And if you check here, this is exactly the same as that. So get used to the short method, especially if the sums become a little bit longer. Okay, now, don't forget, if you look at this example, you will see that if we look at the previous one, it's going to be a negative a x squared. Okay, so if I'm going to, so I don't even, I'm just going to show you a little bit here on the sketches. So if I'm going to make a sketch, no, I just don't want to use, I make a ruler if it comes to this. Okay, so doesn't matter. But okay, so if I'm going to put this equal to zero, okay, so I will just get that value, but the sketch will basically just Say the sketch will look like. Oh, sorry, don't want to use the ruler again. Okay, so it will just be below the x axis. Do you see that? So, therefore, so you're just going to say f accent x will be smaller than zero. Can you see? Okay, so for all. values of x. So therefore, f is a decreasing function. Okay. Okay. And now we're going to do number two. I'm just going to make space again. Number two, a curve has this equation. Show that the gradient of the curve is negative, negative, never negative. That means it's just another way to say an increasing function. Okay, let's first write down the function. And now we differentiate derivative function. Okay, and now we're going to factorize. So if we factorize, so if it's 2 and 2 and 3 and 3, and 6 plus 6 is 12, the signs will be negative, negative. So, and that is going to be 3x minus 2, and that's going to be squared. Okay, now again, can you see? You see it's positive, so positive A, so it's just going to be, if I must make a sketch, it's 
it's just going to be so like above the x-axis. Okay, so I'm going to just end by saying f accent x is bigger than zero for all real values of x. So therefore if is an increasing function. Okay. Uh, it's it's okay. You can even say it's therefore the gradient. Just because they state it a little bit different here, the gradient is never negative. Okay, and that's your final answer.